So I wanted to uh, demonstrate multi-touch on the T-Mobile G1. Um, the uh, Android operating system doesn't come with multi-touch by default, but um, some creative hacker discovered that the touch screen that's used in the device actually is capable of multi-touch. So he, um, he took advantage of the fact that uh, Android runs on Linux and the source code for Linux is available. And he um, either wrote or uh, modified the driver for... Um, for this particular touch screen to give it the capability for multi-touch and then um, because Android is open source he um, wrote some some code in Android to make it take advantage of the device drivers uh, multi-touch outputting and so then um, just as a little demonstration he created a little photo application that you can you know you can drag photos around like you'd expect you can scale them and uh, so, I mean, that, that's a pretty good demo right there of, of multi-touch. Um, and then I made a little image to show how I feel about multi-touch. Um, but then uh, if we go to the web browser, um, he's also modified the web browser to take advantage of multi-touch. Um, it's loading a page that I had previously viewed. Let's see. Um, okay. So as you can see, it's a little bit chunky because it's basically using, and by default, Android has these little uh, plus and minus buttons to zoom in and out in the browser, and he sort of hacked the multi-touch support to basically do the same thing as those buttons. So when you're in a page, you can scale it with multi-touch, um, but it's kind of chunky. Uh, it just works the same way as it would without multi-touch. It's just a lot more convenient. But uh, I, I just thought that was pretty cool because, especially in light of it not being an officially supported thing, and the fact that it, since it's all open source, he was able to just do it. But anyway, thanks for watching.